That demon waiting on you when you got to church. You say you want to do what? Huh? Yeah. What you yeah. say you want to do? Yeah. Oh, I could never. Oh, that's not enough. Yeah. Get ready. Because you just opened up yourself for a boxing match. Yeah. You that, you know. that thing going to whip you like yeah. the sons of Skiba. Whip you up and down. Why? Because you opened up your mouth. You said never. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what? I tread real soft. Mm. I walk up my Christian entity with fear and trembling. Mm. I'd be careful to say, mm. I said I would like to not ever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you talk to my work, Kathleen? I would like to not ever do that thing because I've learned the hard way. The moment that I said I would never do, that's not in my character. Yes. Yes. I want yes. you to know the devil got some stuff that's out there that's aiming for the believers. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. And it's not in your character, but that's like a waiting on a moment. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because we all been going through something. Yes. And you're not going to come with you. Praise and holler. No, you're going to come when you're having a down day. That's yeah. exactly. You're going to show up now. What's going on? Mm. Huh. You know that devil sneaky going to come uh -huh. up there undetected. Mm. Oh, I thought you was had it going on. Yeah. Mm. You're struggling with your bills. Mm -hmm. I told you that God wasn't going to work. Mm. I told you that. All of a sudden, that guy's going to come in there. Mm. You know what? That's all you got to do is go do what you used to do. You can make the money. Oh, come on. Come on here, come on, Pastor. Oh, now you look at all that. No, all right. It don't have to be. Something that you, you know, selling, sharing, doing something, manipulating. Yeah. Oh, don't come play with yeah. me. Oh, yeah. we ain't put on. We're not being sugarcoating anything. Because you know what? You can get them words and some makes them, you know what? Oh, I can't afford. Oh. And all of a sudden, they got that somebody, well, I'm going to get that for you. Come on here. Mm -hmm. Come on here. Mm -hmm. Come on here. Mm -hmm. Is that not in the body of Christ? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, y'all don't want to tell you. I don't want to go that deep. Mm -hmm. No. I don't want to go that deep, okay? Because that's exactly the way it happens. Mm -hmm. It'll be right there. I'm gonna just help you out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden, now, now all of a sudden you didn't trust them and rather than trust him. Oh, yeah. You're so used to making that call to them rather than to him. Yeah. And the Lord God saying, He said, but you said you would not ever. Yeah. Remember mm -hmm. that? So now I try to, you know what, Lord? I pray I would not ever have to. Have to. Yes. Oh, yeah. And Lord God, I, I'll be very careful with that. And then, no, no, I'm not trying to judge because I've been there before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been there before. That's why, you know, why do you, I preach on things truly enough? I, it's not that you just walk. I walked it myself. So I make sure I don't live in a glass house because I can't throw no stones. Because I live in a glass house, I should say. I'm not going to try to throw some darts at you that I haven't received myself. Mm -hmm. I have to live myself. So no, I've done that while I'm trying to, oh, you know, let me. And then all of a sudden I owe it more than what I really want to pay. Come on. Come, Come on, on. Come on. Come on. Let, me, let me put it biblical yeah. for you. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me put it that way. Maybe you'll get it better, you know, that way. You remember when Jonah, what about good old Jonah? Mm -hmm. Jonah, I ain't going to Nineveh. I ain't going to Nineveh. And then all of a sudden, but he gonna go. He go instead of instead of going where God wanted him to go, he gonna go to the other place. Yeah. And he had to pay the fare. Yeah. Somebody, did you hear? He had to pay the fare. He couldn't get there, but he had to pay the fare. Now you go over sitting in some place you didn't have to pay for, but no, you want to go somewhere, you go pay for that. Yeah. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the Holy Ghost yeah, yeah, yeah. in there. Yeah. Now, some of you may have missed it, but if you read the word, you're going to be, wow, the Lord God did tell him to go and play, and you didn't have to pay nothing. But when you want to do your own thing, mm. you're going to pay. Mm -hmm. There's a cost you're going to, some of you are still paying the fare right now. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, Pastor. You're still paying. You're like, Lord God, let me go to where you told me to go. <laughs> let me do it right now today because I, I, I don't want to pay that fare anymore. Uh, the scripture said, oh, yeah, I'm almost done, but you must understand the Lord God said, you need your oil. Why? Because there are times that whenever, whenever the bridegroom shows up, you know, they begin to trim the lamps in case you want, trim me and begin to cut what's unwanted. Yes. You know, sometimes when the Lord God is moving in your life and things are so flowing and the anointing is there, sometimes you have to cut some things. Mm. Yes. Some unwanted things that are strike. Mm. Yes. Because, see, if you start trying to like that, it's not going to produce no life. Yes. Matter of fact, it's going to slow down the production of the oil that you need. Oh, come, come on, on here. See, I'm all, you're like, wait a minute. I told you this is for some e MEO, me leaders only. Because, see, you got to trim. And whenever the Lord God says the bridegroom is coming, you don't just get up there. Oh, come, come, somebody needs to get there. Whenever the bridegroom starts showing, you don't just get up there. Oh, I'm ready. No, no, no. Yeah. Trim. So, you know what? Let me get some things off of me. Yes, oh! Lord. Yes, That's Lord. not supposed Lord. to be on me. Wow. So, Jesus. that way, my oil can last. Yes. Because the bridegroom is here. Didn't say you trim.
women in front of the bridegroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't get to the house of God and you're up there, ooh, let me cut. No. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. You get the shears out before you get yes. the door. Lord, let me Come on. Yes. Let me cut that off. Let me stop saying it. Stop saying the negative things. Before, because when the bridegroom shows up, I don't want him to see me because I have my anointing. I have the oil. And all of a sudden, if I allow that trim to stay there, I'm here to tell If you allow that wick, that unwanted part to stay there, do you realize I'm trying to teach this? See, y'all are young. You may not understand back in the day when they had cold lanterns and things like that, when they had a wick on it. Whenever you try to light something that's already been burnt and you try to light, you're wasting that because it's not going to produce anything yes. until it gets to the untouched point. Yes. Yes. Wow. So now the fire is burning on something it can't do. Oil. I should have brought my little cold lantern up here for y'all to understand what I'm talking about. You know the one with the glass and with the oil at the bottom? Because see, what's all sitting in there, when they trim it, they cut off what's unwanted yeah. and then they turn it yes. and then what's been saturated, somebody better yes. it, in oil, yes. is going to catch on fire. Yes. Come on here. Yes. And when you start, the more you turn, yes. the more that thing. The bigger the fire. And the Lord God said, that's why I'm calling my sons and my daughters that I want to make sure that, that you have enough oil for the journey. I want to make sure that when I show up, not if I'm going to come, when I'm going to show up with your answer, I want to make sure that you're ready and that you're prepared. That you say, you know, I'm going to trim off what was unwanted. I may have been crying last week, but let me cut that off. Yeah, come on now. I was mad. I was bitter last week. Yes. Oh, I'm just talking to the wrong people right here. Y'all can see the, the, I can tell some of y'all, y'all don't get bitter at all, but I'm going to let you know. I got some bitter times. I got some times where somebody can just, you know, I'm going to hit Lord God said, let me just do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. I got to do that with me because I have some errors that are not just, 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 just right. When the Lord shows up and he wants to do a move with me, I said, Lord, let me trim my lamp, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Let me trim my lamp oh, because yeah. I was up brother so-and-so yeah, yeah. come on come on yeah. now come on here come on here oh yeah 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 it's right in the house today yeah, yeah, yeah. oh no i thought you don't get a big heated yeah. discussion yeah. no i'm the only one that have a heated uh, discussion uh, 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 in a heavy uh, moment at times <laughs> i want you to and your family will do it to you yeah oh. come on now oh, you'll be talking they're like why are you getting loud because you get loud <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you think that's 
not a qualification. You can be anointed and still need to repent. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Since when? Yes. Since when? Yes. Only Jesus Christ was perfect. Wait a minute. Yes, Lord. Wait a minute. Are you telling me, yeah. you, are you telling me that you are with the, uh, Wait a Jesus. minute now. Wait a minute. Let me back up and let lightning strike because let me tell you something. Just because you're anointed, that does not mean you don't need to repent. That's right. That's right. That's right. We have a lot of anointed men mm. and women of God, even in this day and age. Mm -hmm. Prophets, apostles, pastors, mm -hmm. teachers, mm -hmm. evangelists, mm -hmm. all of them. But that does not mean that the fivefold doesn't need to repent. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That doesn't mean. It just means that when the anointing starts to flow, if they're not right, there's some fresh manner, by the way. I pray somebody take note, because I, I he just giving it fresh right yes. there. Yes. When the anointing begins to flow on the individual that's walking in that office and their lamp's not trimmed, the anointing, it begins to burn and work in an area that's unwanted. Yes. It profits nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And rather, it gets start burning where it can do some yes. good because you fail, not him. Oh. You fail Come to on. trim your lamp. Come on. You fail to say, you know what, Lord, let me get this off of me. Let me, let, let me do a self again because yes. I'm not all perfect. Yes. I got some rough spots. My thorns are showing. Let me, let me clip back some of the bushes that are, are trying to take over. And then when the anointing begins to flow on it, you can be profitable and used for the kingdom of God. Yes, Lord. Lord, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes. Wow. Yes, Lord. That's yes. a fresh man right there. Oh my God. The Lord God says, a lighted lamp. Tell your neighbor, I'm a lighted lamp. I'm, I'm a lighted lamp. lamp. Tell your neighbor another yeah. son, I'm a lighted lamp. I'm, I'm a lighted lamp. lamp. They need to understand who they're lamp. sitting by. They're not just sitting by somebody who's just look like I carry the anointing. Yeah. No, I, I carry, carry the anointing. anointing. Come yes. on now. I'm not just yeah. look out. I'm not, I don't play Jesus. Yeah. Jesus is who I am. Yeah. That's all I know. I, I can't boast on anything else but Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. I brag on him all the time. I love to brag on him. Not on me. I brag on him, yeah. the God that's in me. Because yes. I'm nothing without him. Yes. Nothing. And so you need to understand that when you're sitting by an individual in this house and they said I'm a lighted lamp, that means you're talking to someone, you're sitting next to a miracle. You're sitting next to somebody that said, you know what, I know I got some issues, but you know what I did? Trimming. I've been trimming my lamp so I can sit in here when the anointing flows, I can be used by the Lord. I can pray for you and need it. I can love you and need it. Why? Because I trim my lamp. I knew Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm almost done. Help me, Holy Ghost. He wants you to understand, people of God, that that makes a difference between the wise and the foolish. Yes. Is that the wise know that you're going to have some days that you're going to need to be able to trim your lamp and do a refill. Come on now. Uh, anybody who's ever been filled one time, if you feel like that's all you need, shame on you. And I don't know what doctrine taught you there, but that's the lying spirit right yes. there. A lying wonder, the scripture says, and the truth not in them. Because you need the Holy Ghost all the time. Hey, if you just got one feeling, I don't know what fill me up, God, to the yes, overflow. Yes. Every time I get, I don't want to get to empty. I, if I get my needle halfway, help. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Help, yes, Lord, Lord, help. I don't know about you, but I take the Lord God, take the presence of God so sick. I can tell when I get low. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You know when your gas tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. You don't need nobody to tell you that your gas get low. Your vehicle start. Yeah. Act in front of us. Come on now. I'm at the stop sign. Now function. You're like, come on now. That's it right there. Come it's on. that one to function. Like, and you're like, what's going on? And all of a sudden you look around. People ride with you. Or they, they don't know, but you're like, mm, you're almost on here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not getting what it needs to get yeah. to produce what it needs to produce. Yeah. Somebody better get that. Yeah. So whenever you're impressed, let's flip that thing spiritually. Yeah. Whenever you're praying and the production doesn't come out as it used to come out. Oh. See, you can't tell nobody ever see. Only the true people, the one that are standing before, before the Lord and said, you know what, Lord? I know that you see me as I am. We're like, you know what, Lord? I need to be filled. Yeah, yeah. I'm running on, I'm running low. I'm running halfway. You know what? I didn't get my full time of prayer today. Yeah. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, you say full all time. Okay. Praise mm. God. Yeah. The Bible said be prayer, be pray without ceasing. Amen. And so, yeah, but I understand it. 
and them praying on them. But you know that 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 block. Well, I'm gonna speak for myself. Come on now. I'm gonna say, let, 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 don't point the people out. Be honest, okay? I won't point them. I'm gonna speak for me. When I don't get my full time with the Lord, anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know, it's a, you'll get it, but I don't get it like I want. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? When I don't get it like I like to get it. Yeah. You know, when I get it like I like to get it, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> I walk differently. Sure. Better. What? Come on. I got, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Talking about? Yeah. Whenever you spend that time with the Lord, God, yeah. no devil in there. Nobody want to talk to you. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. Yeah. all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. when you walk in the room, they're like, what's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. That's a feeling. What did I do? All of a sudden, they start confessing. I didn't ask for God. <laughs> Come on. When you're in full, well, what you want? I wasn't, you didn't ask for that. You just walk in the room. <laughs> when you get full, you know that. You, yeah. you know. And how many of you know when you don't get that full time? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. When you don't get that full time, they don't know it. They think it's a say, but you're like, oh, you're frustrated. I, 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 I'm frustrated. I'm speak for myself. But I don't get that full hour. I'm like, speak. Ooh, I, I just, I don't feel, you know, because I feel like my tank is not where it needs to be. You see, we're all different in here. Everybody required that. I got a big diet. Yeah. I need a lot of work. I'm yeah. just saying right now. I can't skim around with just a little two, three, little bite on them. And I appreciate the scripture. I need. I need, I need a whole pot. I need a like a whole display. You know, I need it. I need it. like, well, how do you get that? I'm listening to the, I'm listening to Christian music. I, I'm eating my word. I, I'm listening to scripture. I'm ready anything, any type of avenue I can get word in. Yeah. I'm getting it in. Yeah. I, I don't take away a moment that I. Yeah, people talk to me, but at times, if I get the most time, I gotta get. All my vessels, all my poor, my eye gates, my ear gates, my, I gotta have work coming in on. And when I get that, I feel good. Yeah. yeah. When I don't get that all day, I'm all. Oh. I'm like, I mean, I'll be all right now. You may not know, but I'm like, oh. Because my diet requires that. I'm saying that to give you encouragement. Yeah. Because sometimes your diet's that way too. Yes. You know, when you require a certain thing every day with the Lord in order to make you feel like you're to that point, yeah. that you know what, that I can battle what I gotta yeah. come up against. And you know, because you know the enemy, he don't stop at all. Oh, come on. That thing, that thing, that thing mess around. Yeah. Wait till you get a low day. That's when it show up the yeah. most. That's when the thing shows up the most. When that spirit shows up, and you not only get a call here, you get that. It's almost like a joke effect. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. You're like, wait a minute. Yeah. You're like, Lord, if I if I could just do a rewind and just get get my time with you like yeah. a like a moment, I would be able to get my bearings. Yeah. See, yeah. that's what I call it. Whenever yeah. I get my time, I get my bearings. Yeah. It, I didn't say everything was well, but I know how to come back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Yeah. I saw yeah. you. Spirit, a spirit. I don't be playing. I said, you know what? I ain't got time for you, but I see that spirit in yeah. there. Yeah. Take that thing down. Yeah. You see, and I start talking that way. That thing will. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. But see, when I'm not full, I'll just start thinking it's the person. Yeah. And I'll be. Mm. Yeah. And the Lord got said, had you been full, you'd have known that that was the spirit. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm talking to the wrong talk. Speak, Lord. Speak. And the Lord God is saying, He's letting us know that whenever you have that anointing, whenever you have the oil, the oil is the thing that gives you that power. It's, it's not about the lamp. I, I'm closing, but you must say, it's not about the lamp. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught up with somebody with a lamp. Because, see, some everybody, some people got some pretty lamp. They be pretty. Yeah. The lamp be pretty. Oh. Yeah. And I tell you, pretty, them think big and more than my shoes. They be yeah. Pretty. <laughs> That's some pretty lamps. That's some pretty lamps. Don't carry no anointing at all. Exactly. Mm. Zero. Zero. But yet, it's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget the big ones. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh, no, no, no. They're they so pretty and they stand by the wall. You're like, wow. Woo. That thing got to have glory. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that that thing. Thing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But it was pretty. Come on. And it was big. Mm. And it had no light. Yes. So it produced no one. No, yes. no fire in it. I'm saying that, but the people of God, and that's truly enough. Yes, true. It's like that right now. Yes. You know, I'm telling you, I, like I said, it's not about an outside message, it's an inside message. 
Don't you be that big and pretty and empty vessel. Yes. Don't be that lamp that's so pretty and so big that whenever somebody calls or something that needs to be handled, that it's an echo, echo, echo. Make sure that you know what? You may think that you're small, you're bigger than what you think yes. you are. You are much more powerful. Why? Because the anointing of God is in you. And that's the whole purpose. When you recognize that He's in you, it's not in your own strength. As I said, and as we're sitting here, some of it is not in our strength. We wouldn't have made it here this far. Do you know what we've come out of? Uh, come on now. Do you have any idea the come hell we've been through? Oh, come on. Come Do you know? On. You think COVID was something? Some of us got something more than COVID going on. Now. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Yes. We went for barely come, come on now. Yes. And you're still here? Yes. And you still got your right mind? And you still able to praise God? And you're still giving God glory? Yes. And you're still looking at the sun? Oh my, come on now. Come on. You must understand. It's got to be the anointing. Yes. It's got to be the oil in your vessel. Jesus. That's mm -hmm. not you burning. Oh yeah, as I call, I, I gotta give you that passage in Leviticus. And the reason why I'm telling you, you're gonna find out when you get there. When I get there, you know, but, but see, you'll take that and meditate on it. Leviticus chapter number 24 and verse number two. It, it has a companion verse. It's also in Exodus. I, I'm telling it to you because you know I, I love to study the word. In Exodus 27, 20, Leviticus 24 and 2, it says the exact same thing. Command the children of Israel mm -hmm. that they bring to you pure oil. Mm -hmm. You want to know what kind of oil you bring? Yeah. <laughs> pure oil. Press olives. Mm -hmm. What you gonna use it for? For light. To make the lamps burn continuously. I want you to understand and the reason why the Lord God directed me to that because you can have all the lamps that you want, but you need the oil to make it burn. Yes. And he said, I need not just any kind, I need some individuals that's been pressed. Come on now. I don't know about you, but they got some individuals who are up in here who've been pressed. Yes. Hard pressed on every side. Mm -hmm. Come on now. After you have suffered a while, yes. come on. I tell them a little something. Come on. God says, after you have suffered. Why? Yes. He said they're gonna be perfected, established, and strengthened. Yes, Lord. You see, that's some in the middle. That's some oil right there. Mm -hmm. You wonder, wait a minute, all the hell that I've been going through, you got some oil right there. You see, because that's the thing that's been pressed. Some fresh oil. Didn't say dead. Mm -hmm. Pure oil. You know what? You, you, what? It's not somebody else's oil. It's that's your right. oil. That's right. It's not somebody else's testimony. It's your right. Yes. yes. It's good to share somebody else's testimony, but when you get your own. I'm going to tell you, it's a whole nother feeling when someone, when you can testify, look what the Lord has done for me. I'm going to tell you, that's that pressing. And I'm saying that to encourage some individuals because right now, some things are pressing upon you. And God says, I'm mm. getting the glory out Come of you. Come on, yeah. I'm hey. getting the best oil. Yes. You're like, Lord God, why do I keep going through what I'm going through? Why is this thing hurting me like it's hurting The Lord God says, I'm pressing your oil. Come on. Hey. I'm pressing you so I can get the best out of you. Come on. He said, the purity said, your oil will not be like anybody else. Yes. You, you see, we're saying, Lord God, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm unique. And he said, that's why your oil is different too. Yes. He said, yeah, I anointed, but everybody has their own pressing. Yes. I want you to know, mama can press only so much. Daddy can press. The intercessors can press. But it's nothing like when you begin to press. When you begin to press, and that means whenever you go through something, and all of a sudden you get some nugget, all of a sudden you're like, Lord God, I understand. Yeah. Lord God, it's hurting me. Yeah. I don't know how long I got to go through it. But all of a sudden that, that pressing, the Lord God says, that's not in vain. Yeah. The Lord God says, I'm holding it all because that becomes the pure oil that's going to go in the lamp. So it can burn continually. Yes. I, 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 the, the point you want to understand from that passage is that the Lord God said, I make sure I use individuals that have been going through some things. Yes. That have dealt with some things in life. And see, I allow that pressing, that type of oil to burn in the lamp. Because whenever someone gets that type of pure oil, it's not like average oil. That thing will burn continuously. Because that testimony, it'll put out a sweet aroma that said, you know what, I made it. It'll put out a sweet aroma that God is able. It'll put a sweet aroma by his stripes I'm healed. It'll put a sweet aroma that he was my provider. It'll put El Shaddai takes care of. Hey. It begins to put a certain aroma in the atmosphere that will burn continuously. And that 
That's why he retorts to make sure you put that type of oil in the lamp to burn in the church. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Some of you are missing, but yeah. some of you to take your time and study the word because he's telling you that I don't need no make-believe stories up in here to have the oil burning in the church. Yeah. Mm. I need some people that go and do some things. Yeah. I need some people that have, you know what, trusted the Lord with all that Lord. Mm. I need some individuals that said, you know, it's not going good, mm. but it's going to work for my oh, good. Yes. Oh, I, I need those individuals yes. in here to say that. And I need, where are you going to put it? Not outside. I want that to burn in the church. Yes. In the church house. Because whenever that type of oil is burned, it'll burn continuously. That means it'll put out aroma. God's able to do it exceedingly and abundantly above all you can ask of things. God's at, and he's able to do it. God is a big God. Whenever that type of oil is burning in a house, when you walk in, you know something about to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whenever you walk in, you're like, Lord God, I know the anointing is in here. You know, when, in the, when, when true intercessors, whenever they get that check in their spirit, like, oh, and you're like wondering what's going on, get ready. <laughs> because that means that it's something whenever they pick up in the atmosphere that's saying, you know what, something's burning in this house, and that means it's a light of God that's going to keep whatever's going on, God's going to heal, God's going to deliver, and the first thing they go is, whoop, <laughs> I want you to know, somebody just went, whoop, in the name of Jesus, why, because the fire is burning, you're on lit, you're on fire right now, the Lord God says, I'm lighting your candles, in the name of Jesus, oh come on, stand to your feet, come on, stand to your feet. Because the Lord God's talking to you today. He's letting you know that yes, as we're praying and believing that the anointing, the anointing does destroy the yoke yes. in the name of Jesus. The anointing of God that he's put inside of you is destroying every yoke of bondage that the enemy is trying to put upon your neck. Even as we're standing and those of you that are watching, the Lord God said you can actually lift up a hand in the name of Jesus. If you're bold enough, you can lift up too. Because the Lord God said the anointing that's on you is about to destroy every yoke, every bondage that the enemy is trying to put on you. That yoke of loneliness, that yoke of depression, that yoke of anxiety, that yoke of despair. That thing has been burned off. Why? Because the yoke of the anointing is destroying that. Destroying every bit of that. You don't even need to worry about it anymore. The Lord God says, stop that worrying. Yeah, In the name of Jesus. Because the anointing that where is it? The anointing that he pressed out of you. The anointing that he pressed out of you. He's like, no, 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 you're anointing. Come on now. Come on, you need to get that. It's what God's doing through you. Yeah, you're going through something, but God's getting the best out of you. Mm. Hey, you're loving him like you've never loved him before. He's closer to you than any friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's the love of your soul. And he's your beloved. Oh, in the name of Jesus. That's what he's talking about. Whenever you get that oil and it's being pressed, it becomes your oil. Father God, as we come today in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for every individual with a hand up or one hand up or even two, even those that are watching, that Lord God, that they are trusting in you and they're going to be a lit lamp. That Father God, their light is going to be shining so bright that Lord God, they're going to know that you are there with them because you are replenishing and constantly restoring that anointing that's in them. That's the oil. Father God, every individual, every individual right now, Lord God, they're receiving their help right now. They're receiving their help. They know that they're going to be trimmed in the area, but Lord God, that the oil that's being produced is about to light it. Their lamps are going to be so on fire. Hallelujah. So bright and burning, so bright that Lord God, that the enemy won't be able to set foot on the property. In the name of Jesus, yet in the name of Jesus, receive it right now, receive it right now, receive it right now. It's your It's your It's not but it's yours. It's what God has allowed you to produce. All your struggle. Everything. The Lord God says it's just the Holy Spirit that drops on it. Thank you, Lord God. It is the anointing. That's about to destroy. Father God, thank you that right now. And I seal this word in the wonderful name of Jesus. And we said amen. 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 Come on, give back.